Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Today, I will be teaching you about the formula for geometric series, both in infinite, which is this one, and we have the finite. Okay, po. So, what's the difference between infinite and finite? So, firstly, pag sinabing um, infinite series, ang gagawin natin dyan is we can um, add all the terms, all the possible terms within the sequence, okay? But in finite, we can only add up until a certain point. So when do we actually use these two? First, let's have this example. Um, we have 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. So this one is under geometric, okay po? So ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add-add natin itong unang apat, it's uh, actually quite easy. So it would just, it would just simply be 2, plus 4, plus 8, plus 16. Okay? And also, you will notice that the, the number in this sequence actually increases. Sabihin, times 2 yan. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, and so on. Okay po? So, yun yung sequence natin yan. So, it's, um, ex, uh, ang kanyang growth is by times 2. Okay po? So, if you will notice, this would become 32, and 64, and so on. Okay po? So, kung gagawin natin dito is you will be asked, ano kaya yung sum ng ating entire series? Ibig sabihin dyan, i-add mo tong first term up until a sub infinity. So, the question is, kaya bang i-add yan? So, let's try. So, 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 and so on and so forth. So, if you will notice class, ang sequence na to, or itong geometric sequence na to, pag kinuha mo yung series na, it's actually quite impossible. Kasi palaki ng palaki yung number, ibig sabihin, may point dyan na darating ka na, say, na for a while, ah. mag add ka dyan ng plus um, 13, uh, 131,072. So, ibig sabihin, sobrang laki na. It's quite impossible to find the infinite series. So, ito, hindi siya pwedeng hanapan ng S sub infinity. Hindi pwede. Not possible. Kasi it would be infinite to start with. So, yung sabihin, pag hinanap niyo yung sum ng series na to, it's not possible or it's just simply, the answer is positive infinity. Positive infinity. Okay? So, ngayon, tuwing kailan natin ginagamit si S sub infinity. So, let's have another example. Say we have Wait, let me just bring this down a little. Say we have um, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Um, what else? How about th this is divided by 2. 0 0.125. Let me divide this in my calculator. 0 0.125 divided by 2. Um, it's 0 0.0625. And so on. Okay? So, let's try to add po. Okay? So, we have 1 plus 0 0.5. The answer is 1.5. Plus 0 0.25. The answer is 1.75. So, we have 1 plus 0 0.5. It's 1.5. Plus 0 0.25. The answer is 1.75. Plus 0 0.125. The answer is... A um, 0 0.125 the answer is um, 1.875 plus 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.625 plus 0 0.0625 the answer is 1.9375 so you will notice nag increase siya but it gets closer and closer to 1.9 okay po so try natin ano pa bang susunod sa 0. 6, uh, 0625. 0 0.0625 divided by 2. The answer is um, 0 0.03125. So, kung idadagdag natin yung 0. Point, uh, no, not 0. Point, 1.9375. The answer here is 1.9375. The answer is 1.96875. Okay, and papalapit lang yan, class, ng papalapit sa positive 2. But it will not reach 2. So, you will notice na, ang sum neto would be approximately 2. 
Okay po, approximately 2. Pero it will never surpass 2. So, yun yung parang makapansin nyo na pattern dyan. Yes, it starts at, at 1. Naging 1.75. So, yan na. 1.5, naging 1.75, naging 1.875, naging 1.9375, naging 1.96875, and so on. It gets closer and closer to positive 2, but it will, it will never reach 2. Yan, itong mga cases na to, yung pwede nating apply ng infinite series. So, if you will notice class, ang infinite series can be applied on decreasing decreasing sequences and for finite series would be applicable only for um, decreasing series or sequences and also increasing sequences. So, possible yung dalawa na yan. Pero again, yung infinite ay pwedeng-pwede lamang gamitin sa mga sequences na pababa. Or you will notice, ang R neto is a fraction. Pero ang R neto is a whole number. Okay po? So ngayon, knowing na yun yung mga possible cases natin, let's now go back to our um, formulas. Okay, let me just erase this one. Okay, let me just use the eraser. Okay. So on this case pala, dito sa pinakauna, ang pwede lang natin gamitin is of course S sub N which is of course a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1. So this one, ang case na ito, pwede mo na siya gamitan ng up until kung ano man yung dulo. On this case, ito yung first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay po? Pag sabihin, pwede lang natin i-add yung up until s sub 6. Okay? So we will have our s sub 1, ay a sub 1 is 2 times Ang R natin dito is positive 2. It's times 2. So, this would be 2 raised to 6 minus 1 all over 2 minus 1. Okay? So, solving for this, the answer would simply be 2 times 2 raised to 6. And 2 raised to 6 is just simply 64 minus 1 divided by 1. The answer is just simply 63 times 2 divided by 1. It's 126. This would be our final answer. And then again, itong given natin dito, since this one is under, of course, infinite series, yan, ang ating formula for S sub infinity is equals to A sub 1 divided by R minus 1. I, sorry, it's the reverse. That's 1 minus R. So, the answer here would simply be, wala na tayong S sub N dito. S sub infinity agad. Our given is 1 over 1 minus 1 half. Bakit naging 1 half yung R nyan? Di ba ang ruling natin to get R? It's 0 0.5 divided by 1. Okay? So, di ba nagdi-divide tayo? And it's obviously na bumababa yan. 0 0.5 divided by 1, the answer is simply 1 half. Kaya 1 half siya. Okay? So, solving this one, the answer is 1 minus 1 half. The answer is, of course, simply 2. Bakit naging 2? Ito. Okay? Subtraction lang. So, the answer is just simply 2. So, the answer is just simply 2. Okay? So, itong 1, one minus 1 at baka nalilito kayo dyan. So, that would be, this is 2 over 2 minus 1 half. The answer is, of course, 1 half. Okay? And 1 divided by 1 half is equals to 2. Ayan. Reciprocate kasi yan. Okay? So, balikan nyo na lang yung paano nyo, operations on fractions. Yeah. Okay? So, anyways, so, ha we have our um, S sub 6 for our finite sequences and i series and then of course our s sub infinity for our infinite series okay and this is only applicable for geometric series okay po? so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh